Okay, guess we're doing just fine. Said I'm not yours, so I see. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Watching's video. In today's video, I will be reviewing the Monster Undead Mr. Beast. This is the second version of Mr. Beast, and honestly, the design, I don't really dig into design. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have seen it, but let me show you how or what this monster looks like, okay? So, you guys know the regular Mr. Beast, right? Well, this is supposed to be like a second version of him. I, I'm guessing he'll be sponsored again or so. But, um, yeah, this is what the this is what the monster looks like. Is it familiar? Um, but anyways, before we actually get into this, I want to thank Social Point for sponsoring this, for giving me the resources, the cells, food, everything to review this monster for you guys, okay? So that is his third form right there. That's what Undead Mr. Beast looks like on his third form. Literally, Mishka. Literally, Mishka. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but anyways, he has immune to control at rank zero, which is a really good trait to have, actually. So he gives you immune to stun, freeze, possession, corruption, all those types of controls. You also get immune to trigger theft, at rank 1 so level 110 you unlock the trigger that and then at rank 3 you get life regen in the beginning of battle um, so if you don't cleanse it he'll keep regenerating his life for I think three turns yeah for 20% each time so all right oh no why would you give me this so here's the thing a bunch of people tell me why do you collect this and stuff like that now here's the thing I don't use these okay I'm not going to use them I have to collect them because let me show you why, okay? So I'm gonna go into my monster vault, all right? Let's say, for example, Undead Mr. Beast. I'm gonna go ahead and level it up. You guys could go ahead and see this as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and level up Undead Mr. Beast. And here's the thing I have to collect it. I am supposed to collect it. The reason for it is because it's gonna keep on popping up if you don't collect it. And I don't know what to tell you, but. It is what it is. So take a look at this. I'm going to go ahead and level it up to 100. Here are the stats for those of you wondering, you know, if anybody's going to get this monster to 100. Um, which I'm pretty sure players that purchase this in the past will, of course, uh, get it to 130. But level 100 is the first thing you get to, of course. So here are the stats, okay? Um, and here's what I meant. I'm going to go, go back, pop top. It's going to keep on happening if you don't collect it. So that's why I'm sort of forced to collect it. Um, but anyways, that right there was level 100. And what I'll do now is go ahead and unlock the rune slots. Okay. And what I'll do. All right. So before we get into the relics, let's check out the skills that he has for us. So we have an AOE magic curse skill. Ooh, I like that. Okay. We're going to put it on our third slot. We have surprised question mark deals massive magic damage to one enemy applies curse so it's a massive magic skill and you apply curse that is amazing um legendary skills wait oh never mind <laughs> i forgot okay never mind never mind i was i was kind of confused for a second but never mind um eternal beast applies life regen to itself and also gives an extra turn to himself so you're gonna apply an extra. You're gonna give an extra turn to yourself and also apply a life regen. I I just kind of wish that also cleansed it. That would have been really good. But let's just use that for now because why not? Um, let's see what else we have. Hater's gonna hate. Applies a random hater skill to himself. Gives one extra turn to himself. Um, okay. Let's see what me what we missed on here. So we have an AOE guard down skill here. We have. Prank preparation, preparation. Moderate magic damage to one enemy applies guard down to one enemy requires cooldown. And then we have an AOE low. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna turn it. Okay, do that. Here's the thing. Life regen. I don't think you really want this skill, especially. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. People that are, that are going to purchase a pass, you're gonna get the monster right, and you're gonna if you're gonna grind up the pass, complete the whole thing, which I'm pretty sure many players will do, if not all. You'll get this monster to rank 3 automatically. Later on, when you get it to rank 3, you don't really need the Eternal Beast skill. Because all you're doing is giving an extra turn to yourself. Because you're going to have the life regen already. Remember, it's a trait. Not a trait. It's a status caster. It starts in the beginning of the battle. Remember? So, 
you could go ahead and swap that with that. But other than that, you could go ahead and keep these four skills. You could also swap the haters gonna hate with the crew joke if you would like to. So then you'll have one massive, which is a single target. Um, then you'll have your crew joke, which is a AOE guard down skill, right? Another AOE skill, and then a single target. So you'll have two single target and two AOEs. If you really want to, go for it. Now the random hater, that could actually come in handy, depends. It depends on the situation. Because remember, it's random. It's not like a specific thing, right? So you never know. So his role, as you guys could see, he's an attacker. That also applies torture, like curse. But he's mainly an attacker. So I recommend running two strength and one speed on him. Um, so for here, we have this. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Before I actually give him... Um, Another level, whatever, strength rune. I'm going to give him this level 7 speed. So two, seven runes real quick. All right, so one strength, one speed. Now the last one, it's going to be a 7 strength, but I'm going to have to find one of my monsters that has a um, level 7 speed rune here. So crafting, no, not crafting, equip. Who has a level 7? I mean, these ones do actually, but I need these monsters for now. Oh, okay. Let me go ahead and swap your rune. That's a life rune. I don't need that. Wait. Currently, I need a strength rune, right? So you, my friend, you're going to have to swap it. Oh, I could actually use the power in life if I wanted to. We could do that too. Instead of swapping it, right? Let's go back to Undead Mr. Beast. We'll just go with this mutant rune, okay? But hey... You can go with two strength and one speed, it doesn't matter if it's mutant or not, okay? Go do your thing. Uh, level 100, Mr. Beast, or Undead Mr. Beast, the stats you guys saw. Um, the relics, he can hold in Ascent, that's cool. So if he dies, he can come back again. And he could also hold a banner. Now, Ingvar's banner is actually one of my favorites to run, and many monsters. But I also have Mr. Beast Banner, which at the start of battle increases all ma allies' maximum stamina by 89 points forever. So you have it forever. So you don't have to worry about stamina being drained. I mean, kind of do, but you'll have that 89 plus um, on top of that. So if you want, you could go with whatever banner you want. I'm probably going to go with Ingvar's Banner. It's like a support Actually, maybe I'll go with the other. I'll go with Mr. Beast Banner since he's an attacker. Yeah, okay, cool. So, let's go ahead and test out Undead Mr. Beast level 100 on Adventure Map. Let's give this a go. Alright, so, get rid of this attacker. Mythic. And where is this monster? Isn't it a magic? It is a magic. There we go. We got it. It's gonna fight. Alright. So your denier, whatever, could do their thing in the beginning of the battle. If you're running a CDA monster, you could just deny him right right away in the beginning. Whatever. And then now when it gets to your attacker, look, this monster has magic weakness, right? Well, I can just hit them with this. This is a magic skill. This is a magic skill. This is a magic skill. He has many magic skills. But if you're going to run up against a magic monster, then that's when it sucks. Because many of his... Uh, great skills are magic element. That's the thing. I'm going to go ahead and charge up here. Alright, so regain some some of their stamina. Zero damage, that's not good. It's okay. I'll just go ahead and cleanse it. But then the stamina, or the damage boost, it's gone, unfortunately. Oh man, that kind of sucks. It's alright. So we have free crawls. By the way, this is a zero stamina, zero cooldown skill. I forgot to mention. But yeah, if you get hit with CDA... Or if all your stamina is gone, or both of them, you could just use a skill. It's like remember remember to sub on Armor Claw. It's like that. I'm gonna go ahead and give you double damage. I'm gonna go ahead and charge up here. Please don't do anything to my Mishka or Undead Mr. Beast. Oh, he died. It's okay, guess what? He's gonna come back because he can hold a revival. In case you didn't know. I'm gonna go ahead and give him... Um, 50% damage boost and also all those other good stuff. Alright, here. Oh, subscribe with notifications. So, subscribe with notifications. It applies guard down, curse to all enemies, 
and it does it deals a very heavy magic damage to all enemies that's cool so bam that is his ultimate right there he applied the curse guard guard down and uh here i'll just go with this his armor kicked in a little further let's say if he didn't have the armor right there right the curse would have actually ended up eliminating him all right so let me get rid of that do that for fun and there goes Mr. Beast's banner. <laughs> Bam, free claws. Um, I think the monster is a decent attacker. I like the fact that one of his skill is zero cooldown and zero stamina. It requires zero stamina and zero cooldown, of course. Um, that's what we actually saw with the other two previous monsters that I reviewed earlier today. So anyways, rank one, immune to trigger death. Oh no, okay, anyways, level 110, here we go, these are the stats for those of you that are going to get him to 110, these are going to be the stats, okay, uh, without the runes, but we're going to go ahead and test it out now, collect, oh man, now I'm going to be confused with what I had before, than what I have now, alright, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and use a magic, of course, undead Mr. Beast, I don't need this because, oh wait, actually maybe I do, yeah, well, we could go with this monster, actually. Um, I'm going to give you this. And I'm going to give you Tenacity Shield. Cool, right? Alright, awesome. Alright, beautiful. Let's go on and fight. So I have my tank monster. Don't have to worry about my attacker being harmed or whatever. Um, let's say if he did end up getting hit by CDA or his stamina is fully gone. You guys know that one skill, Free Claws or whatever it's called, Magic Claws. Well, I could go ahead and remove their stamina... Or not the same, I could deal damage to them without worrying about being hit by CDA or whatever. Just wanted to clear that out, okay? That skill does come in handy. This one right here, Free Claws, that's what it's called. So remember, zero stamina, zero cooldown. Now, apply the random hater skill to itself. So let's go ahead and do that. Magic hater. This monster's magic. You know what that means? Bam! Eliminate. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go ahead and charge up here. You're gonna have to charge up. Well, that monster's gonna die unless I do this. You're welcome. Free claws or curse. We'll do curse. You guys saw Mr. Beast's logo? That was cool, right? Alright, healed up and cleansed. It's okay. BB reversion blocked. Okay, let's go ahead and charge up. We'll do raw drowning here. Applied the thing and also sure does the amulet just kicks in. Does that. See right here, look. I'm hit with TDA right now. As you guys can see, I'm hit with TDA. I could just use free claws and bam. Eliminate. And I'll end up winning that, so let's just leave the battle. Um but I'm actually kinda liking this monster. I'm kinda liking it. The design, I feel like they could have done better. Maybe they could have gone the um actual mr beast you know the old mr beast like the his actual monster they could have maybe reskinned it like this where his bones were showing and stuff like that it'd be cool in my opinion it actually be cool but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and level it up to 120 here here are the stats for those of you wondering and okay that's 120 let's go on and get it to 130 now so breakout rank up here we go. Yes. Let's go on a feed. That's when you unlock uh, life regen. Okay, rank 3. This is what many players are going to get this monster to. And for those of you that are wondering what his stats will be, he'll have 12,642 power, 137k, 830 life, 7,840 speed. And with the runes all together, this is what's going to be it. Alright. Collect, collect. Anyways. So now that we got it to 130, I'm not sure if anybody's online, I was going to go on and request, but let's do it. Let's try it on PvP. We'll do one on PvP real quick. Alright, let's go ahead and fight in. Do do do, tenacity shield kicked in, we'll do water swirl here. Bam, sure there's an amulet kicked in. Full stamina gone. Here, AoE, curse, you know. Now remember, this is a 130 versus a 110, 110, and 126. That's why it's a little 
or slightly strong. I'm gonna go with the random hater. Let's see what we get. Water hater. Unfortunately, none of these monsters are water elements, so that's why I told you. Sometime it'll suck because it's going to be random. So we'll just go ahead and give her that monster. We'll just charge up here. I didn't want to apply the damage mirror and the shield because if they did end up damaging me, I didn't want them to eliminate themselves. It has happened before. I... Alright, anyways, free claws. Bam, T and I. And then next turn, look. Free claws again. It's the spamble skill. Super, super good. I like that skill. Anyways, so that right there, 130. Um, I almost called it Mishka, but um, 130, Mr. Beast. We're going to go ahead and rank it up to 140 now. Now I have five gems. It's okay. I'll see what I can do about that. I'll see if I could uh, find a way to get more gems. I know there's surveys right now going on. So 140, for those of you wondering, for the stats. All right, so a few surveys later. I think I should have enough. Yeah, 25, I see it right now. So that should be good. Uh, some of these surveys, I just entered them and got out real quick because I am trying to get Mr. Beast or Undead Mr. Beast um, to 150 real quick and test it out, see how uh, good it is. So here, finally, level 150. I have enough gems. These are my last gems. I have zero now. Um, but finally, holy cow. So 150. Undead Mr. Beast, these are the stats, for those of you wondering, without any runes. And with the runes that I have right now, here are the stats, okay? So, for those of you wondering what the revenue is, 546 gold per minute as well. Anyways, so, everything, set, cool. We're gonna go ahead and test this monster out. So, let's go over to PvP, um, and let's give this a try. All right, 150 on that Mr. Beast. Uh, these are 130s and 120s. Okay. All right, Siamis, are you really that fast? Dang. All right, girl. All right, so bleeding blocked, all those other stuff. These are 130s? How powerful are you? Holy cow. Imagine if this monster could also hold... Um, sword just a sword and you just slap in a laser beam sword in there a ural sm plus a laser beam sword on this monster would have been so good all right anyways well let's see what we get from the random dark hater we already know who's dark here right well bam that was 600k damage 600k damage holy cow whoa all right well did you miss me yes yes i missed you Let's go ahead and charge up here. Simus, double show. Isn't that his mega possession skill? I'm gonna go with the curse. Bam, 200k. Well, I'm gonna end up winning this, so let me just go ahead and leave this. Oh man, I don't wanna win it. Let me go over to my battle log. Maybe we could find someone that's a bit difficult to beat. What about you right here? How about you? 110s, 120s. Okay, this one's decent, I guess, but how powerful am I against these guys? A 150, oh my goodness, the only, the only one that could actually sort of stand his AoE skill is Armor Claw, which is a 120 Armor Claw. Hater's gonna hate, metal, metal Hater, well, none of these monsters are metal, maybe Nature would have been really good, but yeah. Alright, bam, 200k damage. Alright, let's do a Water Swirl, cool, shares the Amulet Kick 10, Remove Stamina. By the way, let me know in the comments down below near the end of the video let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this monster do you guys like undead mr beast or do you not like it by the way you can obtain this monster in the upcoming legends pass by purchasing the pass it won't be the exclusive exclusive pass but it'll be the legends pass where it's gonna cost like 20 dollars when there's a discount right like right when it releases it's like 20 dollars or something um subscribe with notifications i really want to do this but None of you are holding revivals. Uh, okay, well, bye bye, Craster. And then I could end up eliminating that one too. Alright, cool. So, um, skill wise, this monster is pretty good. Design wise, I feel like they could have done better. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below.
all right well that's going to be pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy and if you did smash like button all subscribe turn on post notifications share this with a friend and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace out <laughs>